Okay, today we're going to do a startup sequence in the HelloCycle, do a little flying. I'm going to uh, show how the uh, sequence goes, and uh, it's very dirt simple how this uh, machine operates. First thing we do is we make sure that our door is closed, that's real important. So we have three basic areas that it needs to be latched, and uh, that looks secure. Next thing we check is that our throttle is down here on the left on the collective area that that's turned all the way to idle and we want the collective even with the bottom of the seat tray so pretty straightforward and the reason why it's set that way is there's elastomeric bearings in the rotor head and if you set it full down those elastomerics set there and uh, they bind and won't come out of it so we put it up here uh, for start and for shutdown which is totally opposite of most helicopters, most helicopters you always bottom the collective, uh, but in a cycle you do not. Next thing we check, make sure that the clutch is disengaged, which it is. There's a red light here showing that it's disengaged. And uh, and we uh, pretty much, I'll show you here this dual tack. This is one of the things I want to show. This is uh, Doug's dual tack. I'm going to recycle the instruments. You'll see it goes through a check just like car gauges, and it's actually built with the same technology as a car gauge, and it's set and ready to go. Then we have a normal, uh, we not only have a dual tack, we have a digital tack, that's a red lion gauge, uh, for the engine. So we have two engine gauges, one rotor tack gauge. So everything's set, our, our collective set, our throttle set, our door is shut. We're disengaged on our, um, on our clutch, but I am going to sit it to the engage mode, which is down between my legs. And I'm going to turn the fuel on. And at that point, I'm going to uh, go through the regular sequence now. And uh, it's really pretty simple. You just um, basically, uh, between my legs down low, there's a, f a start fuel switch and a start switch for the starter motor. And what we do is we turn on the start fuel switch first and leave it on. Then we turn the starter on. When we get to 30%, we shut off the starter. Or we hear, listen for a poof, and we turn on the main fuel down here. Uh, once we hear that, and we'll hear that at about uh, 20 here, and at 30 we're going to shut off the uh, start fuel, or the starter, excuse me, and then at 50 we'll turn off the start fuel, and then it'll really increase, and it'll hold 80 uh, at the idle, the governor will take over and hold that. So it's really pretty simple. Uh, so we got the fuel on, we're ready on the uh, clutch. We're going to flip up. Uh, also, we're going to center our cyclic, but we're going to let the rotor head actually completely center it. We're just going to get it close. So what we're going to do is we're going to flip on the fuel pump, we're going to flip on the aux bat, the reg regulator. I already got the radio on, I usually don't turn it on. And I have a guard over the governor here, and the reason being is I don't want to shut off in flight because it's needed in flight. You shut that off, the engine spools down. Not a good idea. So we'll turn that on. And what we're going to do is flip up the two guards for the switches. First, we're going to bring on start fuel and the starter. Listen for the poof. There it is. Okay, starter off. Start fuel off. There we are. And our temperature hardly even came up. So now we're idling at uh, 80%. We have good oil pressure. Oil temperature isn't up yet. We're full of fuel. Transmission's at 100 degrees, which isn't correct. It's cooler than that. But, yeah, I don't know if you can see this, but we're idling at 48,500 RPM right now, which is roughly about 80%. So we're still disengaged on our uh, clutch. And I'm going to engage that once I get my seatbelt on. So we're going to wait for me to get my seatbelt on. Looking good there. Everything's everything's set the way it should be. Calp County traffic stop two one two eight echo turning final for runway two seven to Calp County traffic. And I have a bunch of wires going around, especially with the headset camera. I don't like to have my wires underneath my seat belt. Nice thing about a turbine is it starts up and just runs. You're not messing with mixtures and 
and uh, fooling around with carburetor heat and all that kind of stuff, you just start it and go. Okay, seatbelt's on, it's pretty tight. Feeling pretty good about that. So what we're going to do at this point is, we already have the rotor switch engaged to engage. We're going to hit two small buttons here just momentarily to start up the rotor. And again, we're going to just double check that our collective's at seat height. And we got the stick roughly centered. We're just going to hold a loose grip on it let it find its own center. So here we go. We're just going to tap it to the rotor starts. There it goes. We're going to let off. We're going to watch the RPM come up. When it staggers just a little, it slips a little, just hit a little more. As you can see, the stick's centering itself. And we'll bump it just a little more. And we'll just keep bumping it just real slowly. Don't want to drag the motor down. Okay, our needles are now married at 80% right there. So I'm going to go ahead and just hold this uh, hold engagement down completely until we get a green light that, to indicate that our that we're fully engaged. Got a green light over here on the engagement of the uh, um, clutch, so we're fully engaged. We're holding 80% power, which is uh, flight idle. 35 psi on the oil temperature, no, no, or oil pressure, no oil temperature yet. Our fuel is full. Transmission's coming up a little in temperature. All our switches are on. We're in the green on the volts, and that reads just that reads about a volt low. And the reason being is it goes through a transistor for the uh, backup battery. I have a separate backup battery. Not only do I have two batteries to run the governor. I have a backup battery. If they would short out or fail, this backup battery will run the governor, so it'll keep the engine running about an hour, uh, which is plenty of time. So just one of the safety improvements. So we're only pulling about 750 degrees on the exhaust temperature, which is good. And again, our six center. So I'm going to put my feet on the pedals, which I should have had them on there to start with. I'm, I'm pretty lazy. And just double check our fuel's on, we're engaged, clutch is engaged, looking good, no warning lights. I'm going to start my uh, clock over here. I like to keep an eye on my fuel. I don't like to fly much more in about an hour. And looks good. I don't see anything bad, so what we'll do is we'll just roll the throttle up. And you can see that dual tack sp spooling up. Okay. Pretty much top of the green, middle of the green, little middle to top, I guess, right here. That's pretty good. Temperature's under 800. Looking good. Good oil pressure. Now it's time to hover and see if this thing will fly today. I'm going to look around, make sure I don't see anything around me. Looking pretty good. A little bit of wind today, not too bad. Oh, we're just going to slowly pull the collective up. You do everything slowly in a helicopter light on the skids. There it is. Uh, that wasn't real good. <laughs> okay, I'm good to the right. Good to the left. Wind's at my tail, so it's a little, little more of a challenge when the wind's at your ta in the tail in the helicopter. Helicopter is like an airplane. It wants to weather vane, except it wants to do it all the time. Uh, the airplane, you have the tire, the friction of the tires to hold you in place. Well, in the helicopter, you don't. So I'm looking at the taxiway here. I don't see anyone. We'll go ahead and venture out. DeKalb County Traffic, Skyhawk 212 at Echo Turning Final for Runway 27, DeKalb County Traffic. Helicopters are just a blast to fly. I mean, it, <laughs> it's hard to describe. If you fly one, you know what I'm talking about. It's the freedom. And this this particular helicopter is easy to fly. It's a little bit, uh, it's like an R-22. Um, a little bit of a handful as far as you, you just make small inputs. But it really is easy to fly. And part of that is just because the governor holds the throttle for you. You never have to mess with it. Oh, we got a Skyhawk landing. If you want to see him, do a pedal turn. Watch his landing. That's good practice for pedals. See if you can keep it on the airplane. Oh, we'll 
we'll go ahead and do a clearing turn just to make sure. And again, we always want to know where the tail is because the tail can hit one of these uh, runway lights here and that, that'd ruin your day. Short tail on this one, not a big deal. Just keep a two, three foot hover and keep them away from it. And we'll wait for him to get off the runway. Pressure's 35, oil temperature's up to 120 now, we're 130 on the transmission, full of fuel. And we are charging on the alternator, that's always good. And I always double check to make sure the clutch says fully engaged, which it does. So, Skyhawk's taken off, we'll take the runway. Auburn DeKalb, Hell Cycle uh, 68478, departing runway 27, and we'll be, uh, we'll be northbound Auburn. Just follow the yellow line. And, you know, you can take off from the taxiway, too. I usually do the runway when there's traffic, just so I fit into the pattern. Okay, just double-check the gauges. I don't see anything uh, looking bad. We're able to hold full power. Full RPM. Gauges look good. We already got enough collective to uh, hover, so that means it'll fly. We just lower the nose a little. And as we go through ETL, which will go through a little quicker today, just got to lower it a little more. Looking good. Keep the nose straight with the runway. At 60 mile per hour, 65. We'll just come uphill a little bit. And just double checking my RPM and my clutch. Alpine traffic stop 2128 echo turning. Looks good. Downwind for runway 27. Alpine traffic. And this is 70 mile per hour. We're at 200 foot. And we're at 75 mile an hour, 300 foot. In the Bonanza, we would be to 1,300 foot by now. AGL, that is. Not much in a hurry to when you fly in a helicopter. And again, I always like to have somewhere to land. that I hope I have to. The Calp County Traffic, Skyhawk 212 Echo, turning left the base for runway 27, the Calp County Traffic. And if, I can't see this, but you can look at the red line gauge, that's the digital gauge there. It pretty much holds 61,675 roughly to 61,750. It's, it's, it rarely, um, Wanders more than 100 RPM, and if you think about that, that thing's spinning 61,700 RPM and able to hold 100 RPM. Even though I'm making changes in collective and uh, and pedal, uh, that's quite amazing. Echo turning final for runway 27, Calp County traffic. Okay, I don't have enough collective. Uh, collective friction, so I'm going to turn some on, which means i got to let go of the collective, which means it's going to go down initially. Oh, don't ever do that at low level. <laughs> Almost 100 feet there. Yeah. Oh, just a nice day. That will increase the collective a little bit speed up. We're down to 60. We can't go uh, slower than the traffic, of course. That would be wrong. Now that my collective friction set, I can take my hand off a little to even get tweaked just a little bit more. I don't like the collective uh, friction set real tight for takeoff and landing because I, uh, I can't feel it. And even though you don't need to milk the collective in this helicopter like you do a uh, normal helicopter, it's still nice to have that feeling. Oh, we're cruising along. We're about 500 foot up now. We're doing about 80 mile an hour. Okay, 
place day. Hour at 90 mile an hour. I'm going to lower the collective just a little. I get scared if I fly more than 500 foot anymore. I'm so used to it. Pretty nice day out here. There's a look down, don't know if you can really see much. Kelp, any traffic stop, 2128 Echo, turning left downwind for runway 2. A little bit of rotor shake, you can see that uh, leg shaking a little. Not bad. Who knows how it's really balanced, I haven't had a balancer on it, but uh, I should have it looked at. It, but in the, in the cyclic, there's no shake at all. Um, you know, any two-bladed system, you're going to get some shake, but that's really not an indication of its balance, though, because it can seem dead smooth, and you put them on a uh, balancer, and you find that it's horrible. And I always like to fly over my house, which is a right turn from here. Let's see, let's get up to 500 foot, or about 450 right now. Fly as low as I want legally, but... Try to be... courteous for the neighbors. The Cal County traffic stop, 2 and 2 at Echo, turning left base for runway 27 to Cal County traffic. Corn crop isn't very good this year. Our beans, I think, are going to make it, but boy, we had drought this year just like about everywhere, and boy, it was really tough on it. Some of the corn's tall, but it doesn't have any ears. This is a golf course I play. It used to be called Green Nurse, called Bridgewater now. And my house is just under the nose here. The swim pool. And John's house there. Give me an idea of stick movement here, just for your understanding. I'm gonna lower the nose a little. That's lowering the nose. That's lifting the nose. So then here's big movements, it really makes a difference. So when you're flying this uh, helicopter, this is pretty much normal stick movement right here. If you want to turn left, that goes left. If you want to turn right, that's right. So, not like an airplane, you see, you gotta have a soft touch. It's not hard, it's just different. Thanks a lot, how you doing down there? There we are. Good morning, Tom. There's an ugly looking pond, my gosh. Go no swimming that. Day for helicopter flying. A little bit of wind, but not much. There's someone curious what I'm doing. This helicopter really.
really gets people's attention because it sounds like a uh, <laughs> sounds like a lot different than what it is. Okay, the is going to be set up over the top of one minute from 11,000 feet to the next 11 minutes at Frankfurt, Indiana. Please. Hey, Phil. California Travel, Skyhawk 2128, we're turning left downwind for runway 27, California Travel. A little better look at the corn. And the beans. And the trees. We won't look at the trees as hard. Cal County Traffic, Skyhawk 2128 Echo, turning uh, left base for runway 27, Cal County Traffic. Kind of fun playing around here. Plenty of power. There's a deer down there. Made the deer run, it looks like, a little bit. Hi, deer. <laughs> All right. That's some fun flying there. This helicycle's an absolute blast. Have more fun than this, let me know. Hope a deer don't jump through my windshield. That's kind of fun. Like I said, all sorts of fun. And I get up a little high altitude here. I like to maintain about 65 to 70 in the climb for a quick climb. Get up high, safe altitude. Just a little.
DeKalb County traffic stop, 212 at Echo, turning left downwind for runway 27. DeKalb. Well, shut off the camera for a little bit.